Lillian, Scotty. Is he asleep? He's in bed. He's real excited. It's been this way for weeks. He had a 104 fever for three days. Vomit and diarrhea. Jesus. Dr. Maxwell said it's just nerves, nothing organic. It's the thing that POW families have, you know? Among others. You didn't change the house at all, did you? I didn't touch a thing, Charlie. You had all the, that back pay. I didn't touch a penny of it. As soon as I found out you were alive, I, w I was just... Alive? Well, in the prison camp. Whatever you call it. I just wanted to leave that money for you to do whatever you want with it. I didn't touch it. Anyway, I was working. That's good to hear. I got your welcome home present. The one that doctors and psychiatrists could Never think of. Mom, son of a bitch. Remember how you used to gobble them up? We were first going together. I told you that all your teeth are going to fall out. You know, I had a bar in my flight jacket the day they shot me down. I nibbled a little bit at a time for almost six months, and I licked the wrapper. Charlie. You changed your hair. A hundred times the past few weeks. You're not wearing a brassiere. It's a new style. They call it no bra look. <laughs> Didn't they tell you about it? You mean nobody's wearing them? Nobody who doesn't have to. <laughs> Only thing they told us was about the mini skirts. Got me all hot and bothered and I haven't seen one yet. I have one. You want me to put it on for you? Uh, you don't have to. Charlie, I was with another man. When? What do you mean, when? I, I, I didn't know when you were coming back or if you ever would. I'll tell you, men around here don't respect anything. If I tell you all the guys who called me, married once as well. A lot of your friends from the base. It made me mad and crazy. I didn't, I didn't give any of them even a look. And then Cliff. He and Peggy split, and she took the kids out to California. He started coming around the house, playing catch with Mark, fixing stuff around the house. He never came on, not even once. I knew what he wanted, but he never did anything about it, you know. It's like two of us just just had to.
I knew. We all knew. Couldn't have been any other way. Cliff asked me to marry him, Charlie. I told him I would, but, but now, I don't know. I don't think I'm up for this anymore. Why don't you just go to sleep now? We get it all worked out in the morning. Just go to sleep. What about you? I'm just going to sit around for a while. 